A uh, couple things I'd like to hit you up on, on tonight's game, and uh, primarily what a tale of two halves. And uh, at the end of the first half, uh, in the plus, I thought, you know, offense, nice job taking care of the ball, and defensively, KZ with a good pick, and then to finish in the minus, uh, that certainly was, you know, example. Uh, we really challenged offensively. Could we come back out after uh, last week where we had struggle in the opening with penalties that set us back uh, to come back out and not have those fouls and execute in the way that we had. So I was pleased to see that uh, through the first quarter of the game. Um, it was good to get Calvin a nice return, get him involved. Uh, it was for us to see Tevin get loose on a couple of runs. That was good to see. Um, and then Hooper also on the drive, I thought, made you know some significant plays. So I thought it showed a little bit of versatility of the group. Uh, defensively, um, like I said, probably the highlight for the first half was certainly there with KZ. Um, at the end of the half is uh, the deep play, man. That kind of you know let some of the air out. And I thought we didn't match the energy uh, that we needed to from the first half into the second half. And uh, that was really the story for me. So penalties much improved offensively through the first uh, you know, quarter and a half, uh, and then defensively, I thought uh, you know the name of the game in the second half is the ball, and uh, they were able to get two. So with that, I'm glad to open up uh, with questions. Uh, I was much more encouraged to see our style come through, our run game, and our play action pass. Uh, that's when we're at our best when those two things marry up. Uh, you've heard me say that before, and it was good to see that part of our game uh, take some action today. So glad to open it up. Let so was that uh, 36-yard uh, deep play by Calvin one of the things you all thought he could bring to the offense when you drafted him? It was, and we were uh, bummed that we didn't get a chance to do that last week. You guys have seen that some at practice and at camp, and uh, so having that speed um, and his ability to make plays down the field was a big factor, you know, and why Thomas and I, you know, thought so highly of him. So that'll be part of, you know, his role on this team is using the speed in that way. He, got a, he had a couple good returns, but he said he's still learning back there. Uh, 34 yards for a learner seems to be a good start. That sounds like a good start. And, uh, you know, it's not something he has lots of experience at, and I think we're all learning to a certain degree. There is some new rules that are taking place on kickoff return, and so sometimes in the past, where how did you use the wedge? Now you don't have that in the same way. There are way more single blocks than there used to be, and uh, so you probably saw some today that a guy miss a block, and then all of a sudden there's a player right near the returner, and uh, those are things. If uh, I think in this year, if, if people win on their single blocks, there's going to be some big returns uh, in the NFL this year, not just from our team, but from other teams as well. I think that's, you know, kind of the story behind it may increase uh, the number of returns and even add more excitement to the game. That was the first time Calvin returned. I don't mean, I'll be He did, and uh, like most of the players, you know, when you ask him, have you returned? Oh, yeah, 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 sure, yeah. You know, so, uh, you know, sometimes I'll have to go back and look at the stat, and I was like, well, it was in practice, you know, or, you know, the guys, yeah, I'm a long snapper. Have you done it in the game? Not, not exactly. So um, he's been putting work in there, and uh, – I don't know if you guys have visited with him, but he's also with, you know, assistant with Keith this year was Leon Washington. And uh, he's been an intern with us, a fellow intern. And he's done an excellent job as well. He was a fantastic return man. I think he had 10 throughout his career. And to have another guy's guidance in that spot um, is good. But as we're going through it, I think the kickoff return and kickoff, um, it's a good topic. And one that we're going to continue to keep watching. You know, last week was like the first examples of the kickoff returns under the new guidelines. And so now we got another week. I'm anxious to you know see around the league what changes you know are, are taking place. And it is it nice to see him kind of on the offensive end too? Right, and uh, that's part of his game, and uh, knowing he can uh, get into like ones that won't show up on the stat sheet. You know, his uh, there was a run that he went in and really got down to safety. Like he's a a pretty relentless and fearless guy. So although he's small, he was willing to go after it and show, hey, I can get in to do the things that you need me to do in all downs. So um, yeah, that was a good start by him last night. As a competitor, he was disappointed in last week's game, which uh, for Thomas and I, we were smiling about for sure, knowing that he wanted to do more and can do more. And so uh, it was good to see you know his talent you know come out some tonight. On the touchdown, he found a nice spot to sort of sit down there. Right. Yeah, and knowing how it wears the leverage of the player on me and not to, you know, move and take space. He's got, uh, and I'm sure, you know, from his background and the coaching he had in college, um, he's come into our team pretty equipped uh, from a learning standpoint, from football, you know, side of things where he was playing in an offense that was probably as close to a pro-style offense uh, than some of the other guys that are coming in from a different, you know, set of circumstances. So we've been encouraged for him. Um, 
he's somebody that you don't generally correct a whole lot of times. If there's a mistake being made, he, you know, is ready to fix it right away. Uh, from a play calling standpoint, you, you referenced the play action. Right. Uh, one of them was also the boot play on the, on the touchdown. It seemed like those were some of the things we saw a couple of years ago, maybe not quite as much last year. But I mean, correct in that thing. I definitely want to make sure that's part of our priority. And the reason being, Jeff, when the run game and the play action go hand in hand, it's such a challenge for the defense. And uh, so we really uh, want to make sure we stay connected to that. Uh, when the play action pass game is going good, uh, that meant the run game at some point was going good because the linebackers or safeties were having to step up. If they were feeling like, okay, you hit them on a couple play passes and you know they try to play a little softer underneath, some of the runs can get going. So that's kind of that balance that you like to have. So uh, yeah, you'll see more of that for sure. Chris? It looked like uh, Tevin had a couple of big runs early behind Fusco at right guard. I know you're going to want to watch film and to get a better sense, but what was your initial impression of how he performed? I thought uh, last week, uh, heading into the game, he looked real um, you know, comfortable in the spots of doing what he did in pass protection. I thought that was one of the things where he has a real strength. And so today, uh, to see him keep taking the steps to improve, uh, I was definitely encouraged by that.